you guys asked for it, but mine really is bigger than yours. Um, you want to see my pocket knife? There you go. Today we're going to see what the Swiss Cham XABT is all about. Okay, so uh, many of you guys who follow my channel know that I am mainly actually known for my fountain pen reviews, and I once did a review of my desk because people were interested in seeing my, my desk and what was on there. Now, one of the things that's always on my desk is a Swiss Army knife, and I've been swamped with requests to please do a review on that thing. Um, and I can see why, but I never really wanted to do it because my channel focused really on fountain pens, inks, etc. But now that I've been doing this EDC stuff, I thought, eh, might as well. Okay, this is my desk tool. I call it desk tool because I don't really carry this uh, with me on a daily basis. And if you see the tool, you'll probably understand why. Um, this is the Swiss Champ XAVT. And this is the Chuck Norris of Swiss Army knives. This is a normal sized Swiss Army knife. This is the uh, Swiss Champ XAVT. Uh, and that's a whole lot of knife. Okay, so I'm going to briefly cover everything. Now, as you can see, there's a lot on there, so let's try not to make this too long. I don't want to bore you to death. Uh, let's see what's what's on there. Um, first of all, this thing, I just have to replace the battery, but this is a clock, an altitude meter, um, I think, maybe a thermometer even. This has a whole lot of, of stuff in there, but it requires a new battery. So, I'm sorry, I didn't get uh, around to that. Now, with this little thing, that's actually a button. You can cycle through the different functions. Uh, but I don't typically check the time on my pocket knife. Um, on this side, uh, you have a couple of cool items. One is a small pair of tweezers. Now, if you have the normal Victorinox knives, uh, you will see that those tweezers are a lot bigger. Um, the reason they're so small on this one is that because of the mechanics of the clock and stuff here, they couldn't put it on the side where it usually is. Usually you have the toothpick on one side and the tweezers on the other side. But that wasn't possible on this one, hence the small tweezers. They are small, but they do work. Um, okay, then we have um, the standard toothpick uh, and the anodized ballpoint. Uh, now, when it comes to the ballpoint, um, I haven't used that thing for months and it writes straight away. Very cool little gadgety tool in there. Okay, let's start on this side. Here we have the corkscrew and the little screwdriver, which uh, uh, is actually used um, by me primarily to adjust my glasses. Uh, it's a type of... Um, uh, small size that is excellent for the, the little screws uh, that you find on glasses, um, which I, I, I find myself using a lot. Okay, then here is a small, they call it a stainless steel pin, uh, it's a little thing you can use as an assistant in sewing or uh, putting stuff together. Um, I have to see if I can recall all the functions of all these things. Um, I'm going to pull out two at the same time. Here we have a, uh, a thing to shave wood, so um, a chisel, um, which is actually quite sharp. I can feel this digging into my skin, so I'll be a little careful there. Here we have a small flathead screwdriver. Here we have another small flathead screwdriver, which um, I, I see a bit of a, a resemblance between those two. Um, and then, it's funny, they put some things on here twice, uh, so in doubles. Here you have their parcel carrier, parcel, rope around it, and then you can sort of carry it by holding this thing as a hand grip, and they carry it, they've got two, so you, can, you should be able to lift some heavier parcels here. Uh, I use this for prying as well, you know, uh, trying to um, hook it behind things. Uh, it works quite well. The nice thing about this one is that they added a nail file in there, uh, in the back, which is quite cool, I think. And then finally here you have an awl, uh, which uh, you can use for, you know, uh, uh, prying into things and, and making small holes into things. And of course you have a carrier ring, which uh, also counts as a function for Victorinox. Okay, uh, I really look forward to going through all of these things. Okay. 
Um, here we have a bottle opener, wire stripper and large flathead screw driver. On the other side we have a, a can opener uh, and a small flathead, you know, you put it in the can, you can sort of push it open. Here we have a Phillips screwdriver, um, which is quite nice. And then here we have a fairly powerful loop. Uh, this really magnifies quite significantly, uh, which is good for starting a fire or checking out splinters, those kinds of things. Sorry for the annoying, annoying snapping this thing shut. I, I can't really control that better than that, I'm sorry. Here you have your pliers. Um, they have um, wire strippers, they have wire cutters, and just, you know, your regular needle nose pliers and a little bit of round stuff for bending and um, prying into things. Here we have the first bit holder, which holds a micro bit, um, which is two-ended. Uh, these are, um, I always mix up hex and torx, uh, but there are some, there are two different heads, I don't know how well you can see that, but two different heads on each side, so that's two bits basically, and then here you have a little uh, staircase with some more bits, which also, I believe, aren't those the torx ones? Anyway, here you got a, two flat heads, uh, and then here you've got some more torques. These ones I use a lot to disassemble knives. Um, okay. Uh, here we have a... My nails are already starting to hurt, by the way. So, thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, here you have a fish scale remover, a little fish hook remover to help you get a uh, hook from the fish's beak. Beak? Uh, mouth. Uh, here you have a small ruler, seven centimeters. I'm sorry for the reflection, it's a bit gloomy, so I have to use a desk light. And here you have a two and about three quarters of an inch ruler. Um, okay, here we have yet another magnifying glass with slightly lower power uh, than the uh, original the one that I've shown you. And I think you can just not combine the two. The focal length doesn't really work, although maybe for making a fire, maybe. Um, here we have a cute little thing, uh, which you don't really have to pull out. You can pull it out to change the battery, because here is a flashlight, one LED, um, which is kind of cute. Okay, in the heart of the tool is this serrated edge blade. And this thing is ridiculously sharp. I, um, I, when I got it, I had the stupid sense to gently run my finger across it, and I had a deep cut immediately. Um, so be very, very careful for these. I know Victorinox blades are sharp, but the serrated edge blades, you see, they make short work of anything. There wasn't even any resistance just now. So um, very nice, sharp blade. Oh yeah, this was one that I recall was very hard to out. Yeah, I'm going to use a separate tool for that. This is an ice pick type of tool, uh, which has a very sharp tip, um, and you can use for picking purposes. Um, then, let's see if I'm not skipping no, anyone. No, here we've got a saw standard Victorinox type saw. Um, I'm not in the best sawing position sitting behind a fairly high desk, um, but as you can see this does actually work really well um, and I, I, I really have used saws of this kind uh, to actually saw wood. Um, I don't use this tool in the outdoors a lot, I'll come back to that in a sec. Okay, then here we have pair of scissors, spring-loaded scissors, work very well. Um, here we have a knife that I use a lot. It's a pruning knife, but it has a nice little tip, which makes it easy to uh, hook it behind something and then uh, cut. Uh, here I have, this is a cutting, uh, a knife to cut electrical wire, and this can be used for stripping. It's completely flat, so it's very easy to make a nice cut of wire. This thing I use quite a lot too. It's a pharmaceutical spatula. It's very good for mixing things. 
And here we have yet another bit holder, in this case with a flathead and a Phillips micro bit in there, as well as uh, two more Phillips micro bits and some more of those hex and torx uh, bits. Then, I think that one was hard to... oh yeah. This is a watch opening tool, so this is not actually particularly sharp, but if you have a watch, um, you can open the case with that. I'm not really going to do that, but uh, that is something you could do if you would be so inclined and would actually know what you're doing, which I'm not when it comes to watches. Here we have another bottle opener with wire stripper. We're almost done, guys. Here we have a metal hacksaw uh, with a file, a finer file and a coarser file. This is the finer one, that's the coarser one. Uh, and a little thing to clean your nails at the end. And then, of course, we have the Victorinox classic of a small and a large blade. Uh, and these things both um, cut well. I'm running out of paracord here, but that was a decent clean cut. And then with the bigger knife, no problem whatsoever. So, there you have it. The Swiss Champ XAVT. I can tell you this was a freaking expensive tool. Um, but I fell in love with it because I'm a geek and I thought I should have a huge Swiss Army knife. Now, the thing with this uh, knife, this tool, is that it's beautiful. It contains pretty much every tool Victorinox ever made. They have some particular knives for, for example, golf players that have uh, tools that are really geared towards golf. But this has pretty much every outdoor tool they ever made on there. Um, there is only one problem. I have fairly large hands, um, so if you measure from here to there, it's 8 inches. Um, and the thing is, even for me, when I hold this, I can hardly even close my hand around it. So yes, you can use it for short chores, that's why I keep it on my desk. I need to open something, need to cut something, need to saw a little bit, you can do that. Um, but for extended use, it's super heavy and it's so big, it's almost impossible to hold. Then again, you get pretty much everything you ever wanted on there, so that's kind of cool. But for real, simple, good outdoor work, give me something like this, the Huntsman, any day of the week, because it's much easier to hold. Um, none of the blades lock. Uh, same thing for the Huntsman. Um, so, um, yeah. It's a very fascinating tool, but it's more of a collector's item, I would say, than a great survival or outdoor tool. Still, I thought, I, I thought you guys might want to see it, check it out, so uh, there you have it. Um, I hope this was useful, and um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.